Okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Leah. And my name is Tejas. And we're with Tech Pals. So today we're going to be talking about the Tech Pals top pick for search engines, which is the Google search engine. In just a little short introduction to Tech Pals, Tech Pals is a 501c3 nonprofit. We teach technology to senior citizens. We're currently under a contract with Boulder County, giving away Chromebooks and providing technology education to them. We've been doing this since 2021. All right, so today we're talking about Google. And as Tay just mentioned, Google is a TechPal's top pick for search engines. Now, a search engine, a search engine, I should probably explain what that is. A search engine is a tool, an internet tool, that allows you to find web pages and internet resources. So we're going to show you the ins and outs of how to use Google to get the most out of your searches. So if you're in Chrome, when you open up Chrome, it'll take you to the Google search engine at google.com. If you're not there, click into your address bar and type in google.com and you'll get the Google search. So one of the things you can do in Google is speak to it in natural language and ask it direct questions. So you don't need to use a specific syntax for any Google searches. Instead, just ask it a natural question such as, where can I buy socks? Question mark. Where can I buy socks? And you will see some some sponsored no sponsored yes let's talk about what it means when it says sponsored these are ads it's probably not the best. directly what you're looking for the best thing that correlates with your search is going to be these top hits further down that do not say sponsored now um, we have all these tabs up here and we're going to explore them. So we're specifically looking for a product so we're going to go to the shopping tab and click on it. This is where we can filter our results. We can quickly see a description of the sock, how much the socks are, where to purchase the socks and the ratings on the socks. This number in parentheses is how many reviews have been given on these socks. And the number of stars that are filled in yellow is the rating. So on the left hand side, we have our filters. This is where you can search by price. Let's say we want some real nice socks. We're going to click over 25 and we want a certain brand of socks, let's say Nike. You can select men's or women's, the style, crew, ankle, no show knee uh, I'm fond of the ankle sock myself and you can select the quantity what kind of pack you're looking for as well as the size so I'm on a medium and here are Nike socks matching my specifications So let's ask it another question. I want to show you Google quick facts. So Google takes facts when you search for a piece of information such as how did the flat irons get their name? It will give you accurate information from a website and highlight it when you search. So right here it tells you where the flat irons got their name by showing and by getting this gives you the information from a specific website and gives you the information that is relevant to your search exactly and below the answer to your question you'll find 
other questions that people asked that were similar or you know a follow-up question to what they asked so here are how were the flat irons formed what is the flat irons nickname etc now let's try to let's say I'm searching for something but I can't specifically remember the name of this town but I know that it's a uh, it's a ghost town west of Boulder um, so there's a couple different ways that I can search it let's say if I just said ghost town I've done this that's why it's giving me this populated thing in purple ghost town west of Boulder boom it's got the answer caribou is a former silver mining town located about 20 miles west of Boulder near Netherlands. Uh, let's filter through similar types of searches and see how Google responds. What if I type in who? W H O. This brings up the World Health Organization. Everything about health, health in the news, health on Wikipedia, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all over the place. Now, maybe that's not what I was looking for. Maybe I was looking for the who. Articles make a difference. When I type in the word the, I get the rock band, the who. And I can go again and type in a who, and I get Horton Hears a Who, a film from 2008. So let's explore the different tabs we've done the um, shopping tab we've done the shopping tab now we're going to explore the image tab so let's say I put in you want to do Tesla you got a picture of something else you want to do no do the Tesla because it's on the plan okay we're going to follow the plan Tesla so sponsored of course are going to be the businesses selling the Teslas so we're gonna go up here we want images so up at the top says news images shopping yada yada we're gonna clip on, click on images so this images tab will give us photo results to our search query results that are images rather than text results or links to other pages and we can further filter these in tools if we hit tools we can search for a certain color of car we can search for a type of image maybe we want a line drawing we can search for a time uh, maybe I was interested in a 2000 whatever year it is Tesla that just came out I would search past you know week or month or if it just came out 24 hours uh, usage rights if you want to um, reproduce the image post it online or something you can get one with licenses creative common license commercial licenses so we'll show you this color thing if we go purple just like that we got all purple Teslas <laughs> except for a white Tesla with a purple background so this isn't magic, it is looking for purple in the images that it finds. Now let's say I didn't want to see, I wanted the coil and not necessarily the car. Well, you just looking for a line drawing. Yeah. But I'm looking for a line drawing, but I have to be more specific. So I'm going to have to put in test the coil and go back and do line drawing. And now we have the designs 
of the Tesla coil. Now, let's say instead of the coil, I wanted Nicola. I wanted a, a picture of him. I could, and I didn't remember his first name. I drew a blank on it, and I'm getting all these other pictures. I can go Tesla face. And just like that, I've got the face of Tesla. What else can we do? So we also have news articles. Uh, let's say we want to learn about something that recently happened. Now let's take something It's not that recent, but the Marshall Fire. So here we have quick information facts to the left that give us the start date, the location, buildings destroyed, burned area, the cost, death toll. But the news. But we want to find news. So there's a tab right here for the news where we can jump directly to it. And it is in order of most recent. So they're actually talking about this in the news recently. Here's an article from CBS. This is where we can find out where it's from. Up the top, above the title. FEMA approves $4.3 million for Marshall Fire Recovery. At the bottom, you can see this was posted 23 hours ago. If you want to open it, you just give it a click. Um, let's go back to Google. Let's go back to the Marshall Fire. And... Let's talk about, I just, there's a video tabs. I don't know if there's any videos of it. We can see there are, they're not videos of the fire, but they're videos of people talking about the fire. Here's one of the fire. But there's video, news, if we wanted images, there's the image tab, which we've already discussed. That show the devastation. So now we're going to talk about maps and looking up businesses on maps. So one of the places I like to go for lunch, they're also open for breakfast, Lindsay's Boulder Deli. Sorry, I was in images. Okay, whoops, now we're in maps. I just clicked on <laughs> You can know how to get the maps. I know. I didn't mean to click on that so quickly accidentally. So while I'm here, because we search for a business, on the right we have a Google My Business profile where we can see the reviews, a link to the website, get directions. We can click to call. We've got the address, the hours, phone number, time of day, when they're their busiest reviews. We're going to show you the maps feature today, right now. So we're going to click on maps up at the top. And we see a red balloon, which is a pin, pinning to Lindsay's Boulder Deli at haagen -Dazs. You can zoom in on this map So you can see where it is. You can drag the map around. Oops. You can click on the map to, to see different points on it. And you can get directions. So we're going to click directions. And it says choose a starting point. So we've got co-working space here that's great. At Office Evolution, Boulder, Pearly Circle. The Lindsay's Boulder Deli. And 
now we can choose how we want to get there. The car will give us driving instructions. And if you want these instructions sent to your phone, if you're currently at a, on, a, uh, on a computer, you can click right here, send directions to your phone. This is linked to my phone, so I can just select it. Uh, if we're taking the bus, there's a bus option. You just click on the bus. If you want to walk, it'll tell you how far of a walk it is and give you the best walking path or taking a bike. Now let's say I didn't specifically know what restaurant I wanted to go to and I'm starting out here at my current destination office evolution I'm kinda hungry so I'm just gonna put in restaurants Can I do this? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. So I'm gonna go up here to where it says restaurants you okay? My partner's choking. Okay. okay. He's okay, everyone. So here we go. We're going to go up to this tab that we see labeled restaurants. And it just dropped pins with forks and knives all over the map. We can hover our pointer over these to see what they are in a brief Google My Business profile about them showing the reviews whether they're open when they close what kind of restaurant they are and there's dollar signs the dollar signs signify how expensive it is it's from one to five you can search for these you can uh, filter them by let's say we only want to go to a 4.5 restaurant or better that just eliminated the ones that people aren't so happy with let's say we want a specific type of cuisine say I'm in the mood for some Chinese food now we've got Chinese with 4.5 stars or better and they gotta be open right now mm -hmm. no. now keep in mind this again is in magic so it will not always give you accurate results good example this isn't a Chinese restaurant it's a Nepali restaurant yes but it came up because they classified themselves as such watch this yes they did they self classified themselves because they figured that people that were looking for Chinese food would also be interested in their food so you can click on about and it'll tell you um, where does it tell you type of food it doesn't it's inferencing that based on reviews oh my partner here knows a little bit more than me so it came up as Asian because in a review it had Asian food mentioned so let's say I want to do a search for uh, Let's go back to our Google search, and we're going to use another Maps feature. Just, just type to the right one again. And let's say I like eggs Benedict near me. I don't know how to make it. I have to go buy it. I want to make sure the restaurant I go to has it. So, so it's picking up the language from the review. So you have this is amazing eggs Benedict yum great eggs Benedict also menu highlights this one grabbed it from the menu menu highlights eggs Benedict so it brings a map on the right and again I hover over these red balloons the forks and knives the little pins and I can see where they are and I can click on that to go to it so let's say I want to go to La Pete. Here is where I'd find the Google My Business profile and the map. I can go directly to directions. And all I have to do is enter in my starting point. I know, I know, I know, I know. We're going to put a line through that. Office evolution. 
Um, and then you have the directions. Let's say we want to find some articles, some peer review journal articles. Google has a separate search engine called Google Scholar. This is where if you were curious about the latest in medicine and and um you know, vaccines or COVID, you can find scientific research, scientific like research that's been peer reviewed. And here we can search since 2023, get the most recent information. Um, and there, there you have it. Those are the peer reviewed journals and you can see who cited them you could cite it yourself this is uh, super scientific if you're curious and want to look into things in a more scientific -y lens we're going to go back to our Google search and we're going to search um, We're going to, one second, we're going to do math facts and quick facts. So let's say I type in a word, just a random word that has no associated business with it, club, group, person, etc. It will automatically throw in the dictionary. Here is where we get the word. There's a microphone Accurate. button. We can click on that and it'll pronounce it. We get adjective, having an irritatingly strong and unpleasant taste or smell. There's the people also asked. Now let's say it didn't give us the definition. Like if we went Apple, it gives us the business. But let's say that I needed the definition. definition of apple so you would type in definition of and then you would get the word uh, let's say I'm doing some math over here and I'm trying to get uh, you know Fahrenheit to Celsius um, let's say it's 65 degrees Fahrenheit in Celsius we get this automatic calculator right here. So this is Google's built-in unit conversion feature. It can convert many different types of units, including temperature. So we're in temperature setting right now. You can do all of these different settings here, like volume, speed, pressure, area. Let's say I've got Let's do some area ones. Let's see, I got four square feet. And I want it in square inches. Just like that. Uh, let's say I'm cooking. And I want... I'm just going to go up to the top here. One cup to ounces. I've got my volume one US cup to eight fluid ounces. Uh, let's, uh, let's talk about spelling and whether it matters. So I just watched this movie. It had this cool guy in it. I heard his name was Tom Cruise. So now I want to go look him up. And I spell it like that. Google automatically says, did you mean Tom Cruise with the correct spelling? and provides the search results for that spelling. Now, let's just say you're actually looking for Tom Cruise with a Z and not an ISC on the end. You can put quotation marks around it and it will 
remove the automatic spell check looking for specifically what you typed. There you go. So here we have Tom Cruise and all of his presence on the internet. Let's say our friend from Spain comes to visit. If we type in translate, we can translate any language to many other languages. Many, many, many. It's probably like at least a hundred there. So we can hit this microphone button and we can talk we can have it listen to somebody else talk that's speaking a different language from us or we can type in what we want to say so I'm gonna tap here where it says enter text and I'm gonna say I love technology in we're gonna say it in what language let's just do it in Spanish There, amo la tecnología. So it, it will translate to the language you select, and up here, it will detect what language you're typing. So let's say you're trying to translate in Spanish. Right, if you're trying, and let's say we weren't as good as pronouncing the Spanish as Tejas is right now. There is a microphone button here. Amo la tecnología. And uh, it'll, it'll, um, it'll give you the pronunciation. So let's say we're detecting language. So I go, Dove el baño. Oh, what's <laughs> this? And you're trying to do it in, it's, it's donde esta. No, I'm trying to do Italian, my friend. Italian? Dove? It's trying to translate to Spanish. It's not the thing with this. Oh, we want, we want this on detect. Uh, on English. On English, that was the problem. It, was, it probably it, did it. Let's it, see. It doesn't translate to itself, by the way. Yeah. So if it's trying to find Spanish or Italian, it wants to find out the Spanish language. It does Italian. Yeah. Now it's set this to Spanish. This is set to Spanish. <laughs> oh, it, now it assumed it was Italian. It's assuming it's Italian. Banyo. I don't think they use um Dove el ba Dove el baño. Where is our bathroom? There we go. I just can't spell B A G N O. So, ta da, there you have it. There is Google Translate. What else can we do? Mm, let me think. We've gone over most of the basic stuff, I think, when it comes to Google full time. That is the end of our presentation. If you would like to learn more about Tech Pals, you can do a Google search on us and type in Tech Pals. You can leave us a review if you'd like. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love five-star Google reviews. Or check out our website for more information on Tech Pals. Thank you very much. Again, I'm Leah. And I'm Tejas. And this has been our presentation on Google search. Have a great day, guys.